Hi, welcome to Money Mondays on the Rideshare Guy. Today we're going to be talking about the DoorDash IPO. We're going to talk about unemployment, the stimulus packages that are up for grabs, and stick around to the end because we're going to talk about something you need to do with your finances right now, today, uh, that's going to affect your entire 2021. So stick around to the end for that. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Tyler from the Rideshare Guy. So Let's get started with our Money Monday by talking about something that affects all of the rideshare drivers, especially those that have been doing uh, a lot of driving with the delivery, which we've been doing a lot of this year, uh, especially with the pandemic. So DoorDash has gone public um, starting this week, so Tuesday, so tomorrow after the day this uh, video goes out, and you'll be able to purchase stock of DoorDash. But what do investors think of it? Let's take a look at this first screenshot. So it's said here that they believe DoorDash is the most ridiculous IPO of 2020. It says, we think the proposed public equity offering holds no value, zero dollars beyond bailing out private investors before unsuspecting public investors realize the business is not viable in its current form. Why do they say that? Well, for 2020, they were profitable one quarter, the very first quarter that the pandemic started. And as the article continues to go on and explain, if they weren't able to be profitable during a prime time for them to do so, a time where people weren't going out, more people were getting delivery than ever before and probably ever will again, um, then if that was the only time they were able to be profitable and they weren't able to do that again any other quarter of the year, then it doesn't seem like they're going to be a profitable business long term. So they're talking about different prices that they're going to release at. At first, it was in the $70 range, and then it was the $90 range per share. Um, this is definitely uh, not exactly what uh, the shareholders are going to be looking for. According to, to everything I read, uh, it showed nobody seems to really think this is a good idea. This company, um, they feel, isn't going, uh, going to continue to go forward. Personally, um, I was really excited to see that they were going public. I always get excited when companies go public, but... I agree at, at the valuation that they're talking about. It's definitely not going to be worth it. Um, they're valuing themselves way too high. And I agree, it's going to be something that's just going to bail out uh, the, the money that they already need. They're going to get that money and the investors are going to kind of lose a lot of money, I think, in the long term here. So I, I'd be happy to be wrong, but we'll see what happens. Second thing we're going to discuss is unemployment rates. Unemployment rates have gone up significantly last week. Uh, one of the highest weeks we've seen this entire uh, pandemic, uh, the highest since numbers we've seen since June, July. Um, in fact, it was a 20% increase over the week before. So 850,000 new claims in the U.S. of unemployment for last week, which is a huge, huge increase. Um, this is due to uh, the fact that the pandemic's been going on for so long. So some of the businesses are are just now, they finally can't. They, they've realized that they can't continue. They've had to shut their doors. It also has to do with the fact that the pandemic, the numbers have gone up. And so uh, with the numbers going up, certain restrictions are coming back. So people, uh, again, if the restriction, especially in the restaurant industry, uh, they're not able to be open. So they have to go down to to go only. They don't have nearly the staff that they have if people are coming in and eating. So they have to let people go. Um, so things like that, and that's a huge industry, and they're not the only ones that are doing that, but we also have uh, rideshare drivers like ourselves that whether we're not driving because we're not allowed to at that time or because we just don't feel safe driving out. Me, myself, I'm not driving passengers around. I don't feel safe with them. I'm doing Uber Eats. I'm doing Instacart, um, but driving passengers around, I'm just for my own safety, my family's safety, I'm not doing that right now, um, and likewise, so many other people are doing the same thing. Um, because they they don't want to risk it. And with that in mind, now we're going to talk about the rich continuing to get richer. We've talked about that how many people were on unemployment. It, this study found that 651 of billionaires in the United States since the pandemic started, ha their wealth has grown to the point where they could give every single American in the entire country $3,000 each and they would still be richer than they were when they started the pandemic. So unfortunately, the pandemic has not been bad for everyone. Um, some companies are making money, which you know we've talked about DoorDash and Uber Eats and, and Amazon is making more money, things like that. Things that are delivery services are definitely making more money. Um, and 
I, I don't knock people for making money, but it is kind of interesting to see how there's so many people that are out there hurting, uh, trying to make ends meet, and yet all these companies and people are making more and more money. So it definitely affects us and something to look at, um, especially when we look at these stimulus packages, these unemployment packages and everything else that's coming down the line. And then finally, talking about the stimulus package, last week we mentioned several times that the final cutoff date for them to get everything done for the new year was December 11th. Um, they did, as one uh, person mentioned in the comments, they did file an extension so that they are able to uh, get another week. So now we're looking at this Friday as the last possible day for them to get something. But even then, if they do pass it on the 18th and, and something comes up, we're not gonna see any amount of money this year. It'll be in 2021 for sure, um, which is disappointing for a lot of reasons, um, but for sure. And they even mentioned there's gonna be a lapse. So there's gonna be possibly a lapse of a few weeks or even a month where these people who, you know, they've been not paying rent because they don't have money or not paying their student loans or whatever the case may be, all these things are gonna come due and they don't have a way of doing it. So there's some programs that are out there. Check out your state programs and try to find things, especially for rent. Um, they're few and far between, but try to find and start applying right now um, because you wanna make sure that your, your name is in there so that you can get the money as soon as possible. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're doing that. With that in mind, we have the, the plan that they talked about last week, the $908 billion plan. The White House came out with a, a new plan this week which instead, which is about the same, it's a few billion dollars more, um, but instead of the unemployment and no stimulus, this one has a stimulus payment for everyone, but no unemployment. So everyone would get $600, but then the unemployment goes down to only $40 uh, billion, which is significantly less, and they wouldn't have the extended payments uh, like we've been receiving a, a lot of states have still continued to give out the 300 400 i've heard some are getting um, some states are even getting 600 dollars. Um, so uh, you know that that would cease as of december 26 it's going to stop but the plan they're trying to put in place one of them would continue to do that at 300 dollars a week and one of them would do none whatsoever but everybody would get a 600 dollars stimulus uh, check so we'll, we'll kind of wait and see which one happens um, both sides of the aisle have, have talked and tried to get one of these to go through. So we'll see what happens in the coming weeks for sure. With that in mind, we do have one thing that we wanted to mention about a possible way for you to get some money. We talked, we've talked, we been talking about the ERC, the Employer Retention Credit. Uh, we have a video we'll mention in the comments that we did about, about Credible Loan, which is a way that if you don't have the money to start the LLC S-Corp that we mentioned previously, um, that this is a way and they break it down all the math and everything on how much money it'll cost it, it is a loan that, that it is but credible will be able to give you the little bit of money you need in order to get that covered and then that way you have a six month loan and you're still coming out ahead so a way that you can start working towards getting some money um, it is going to take some time obviously nothing especially when it comes to the uh, government and getting money to you um, comes quick so we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of that looking at it um, and really deciding what's best for us. As I mentioned last week, my wife and I talked about it and we decided not to do it, not because we think it's a bad program or anything is just not right for us. So take a look at everything and make the decision for you. And finally, a decision you need to do, something you need to do right now, like pause the video and do it as soon as I tell you, is work on your health insurance. The open enrollment ends tomorrow as of the day this video goes out. So it ends on the 15th of December, 2020. So you wanna make sure that you have got your health insurance all set. If you need any help, we talk a lot about, we have articles, we have videos about Stride Health, which has allowed us to, a lot of drivers have been able to reach out and they've actually saved a lot of money by using that. So right now, stop, go, go do your health insurance right now. It's so important um, because you never know what's gonna happen, especially if there's a pandemic going on. You never know if you'll get sick, get in the hospital, you don't know if you'll be in an accident where drivers were, were at higher risk of getting in an accident. So make sure you've got that health insurance taken care of right now. All right. Thanks for listening. I uh, appreciate it. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I read every single one of them. Um, we have a new episode come out every single day. Uh, the Money Monday comes out every Monday. So subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And stay safe out there, everyone.